What's up guys, Nolan here, and today I'm giving the current details on the next big update that we should be seeing in Escape from Tarkov, the Lighthouse expansion, and our first in-raid trader. First though, we did get a couple small changes in game today. We're 762 by 54 SNB rounds, 338 Lapua FMJ, as well as 338 Lapua TAC X were banned off of the flea market. You can no longer buy those on the flea. The weapons case, money case, med case, grenade case, and cooler are now blocked from some bags. So if you randomly find that your cases are not where you left them, that is why, at least for me, they seem to fit in pilgrims so there's that now on to today's main topic the lighthouse expansion where we should be gaining access to the actual lighthouse island itself on that island we should find four sniper class bosses like Sturman and one trader that we will only be able to access in raid by visiting them this is going to be a first for a few things one obvious being an in raid npc that we can trade with although we certainly had a good test run with santa during the christmas event but this is definitely not going to be the same thing santa simply dropped items for the people in front of him just at random and if you dropped something for him he'd drop a new item in return as a barter but again for random items we don't know exactly how the new trader is going to work and that leaves a lot of questions unanswered if he's going to work like santa then he will likely have certain criteria of items that we can drop in front of him and he will give certain items in return and then we can just hope somewhere in the shop there's like a sign up on the wall that'll tell us what goes to what so for example it's possible if we drop 50,000 rubles in front of him he picks it up and then gives us a weapon what would be interesting is if we get some kind of prompt or ui elements to the trader trading because that in itself would be a first as well. All in raid interactable items are pretty simple right now. There is nothing where we would access a set of menus or anything like that, for example. It's simply we either open something, we drop something, or we plant something. That's it. BSG haven't given any details yet, so we'll have to wait and see how that works out. When it comes to what the trader will be selling, we also have not been told anything yet. We just know it must be good if they're going through all the trouble of guarding him so well. My theory is that he will at least sell underbarrel grenade launchers, but could also sell heavier weapons and explosives explosives like belt fed machine guns, RPGs, and mines. My theory for the grenade launcher is due to the fact that they were talking about underbarrel grenade launchers coming in 12.12 right up until the point that they said that the trader won't be coming in the first iteration, so I'm taking that as a clue, but we'll see what happens. Whether they are in his inventory at the start or not, I bet this guy's going to have some pretty significant gear to be worth the trouble. And before we go much farther, yes you can kill the trader, and since PMC Karma is not in the game yet, I don't know what they would do for a repercussion to doing that, but Nikita did confirm you can kill the traders so we'll see what happens the last solid detail that we've gotten is that you will require some kind of token or something in order to gain access to the trader this could be an item or it could actually be reputation based an example would be similar to something like we see in the raid series where he needed a passcode in order to not be shot in the front of the terminal we might need something similar here only difference being we wouldn't get straight fire machine guns it would be the sniper bosses who are shooting at us i wouldn't be surprised if we need to complete a quest line to just gain access to the island and then meet the guy in order to find out that he's got more for us to do in order to level him up just like any other trader would just much less accessible it's completely possible and even likely that he'll have gather quests where we will need to queue into lighthouse with those items and then bring them to him the days of being safe once you actually leave a raid with your task item could be over i say that knowing that someday it will be over since the plan is to have more if not all of the traders that we know now as in-game npcs we need to physically go and meet in order to trade with them then for certain stuff we can level our intel center in the high out but it will likely be limited that's all yet to come and things can change but that's what we know right now in case you guys missed it clean and i had a discussion about this and a lot more the other day over on his twitch stream the full video of that discussion is on my second channel because those aren't the kinds of things that i post here i'll link that below if you want to give it a listen the other bigger topics that we discussed there will also have their own newer updated videos here soon so you won't miss anything speaking of missing anything we still haven't heard anything about the dev cast yet the entirety of bsg are just now getting back to work after after their holiday break reminder that they do celebrate christmas on the 7th of january so it really should be any day now as always i'll keep an eye out and let you guys know more once i do until then though for the latest tarkov news check out these playlists here if you like this video then you know the drill please subscribe i really appreciate the people who do especially since we're so close to honor k now thank you guys you will find our discord if you need people to play with as well as links to my other channels especially if you're into star citizen linked below otherwise i hope you have a nice day see you guys